looking to create a quick video here on creating a pumpkin. Um, I'm going to show a basic pumpkin shape. There are more advanced ways to do this, but this will give us a basic looking pumpkin and that's what we're looking for. So first of all, we're going to use the circle tool. And before I click to start my circle, you can actually see in the bottom right hand corner it's saying, hey, how many sides do you want? So before I click, I can just start typing. And for a pumpkin, maybe 10 or 12 sides is a good number. So I'm going to type in 12 and hit enter. And then I'll start my circle by clicking. Uh, I always work at the origin and then along the red line, that really helps. Uh, a good size for this might be, let's say, 40 millimeters across. So when I'm typing in SketchUp, you can see in the bottom right hand corner, it's a radius. Therefore, I want to type in 20 millimeters, not mm, mm. Hit enter. And then let's get our um, surface into the frame. Okay, let's work from here. Second thing, I've got a path now that I can go around, and now I just want to create a, a profile that will follow around this. And so let's do that. Um, one way we can do this is to just create a line straight up, and I might use the up arrow to force that. And then the next thing I want to think about is how tall it should be. Um, I find two to one works pretty well, so our diameter is 40 millimeters, therefore I'm going to go up 20 millimeters, half of it, two to one. And now I've got a nice looking line I can work with. Let's grab the arc tool, the letter A. <clears throat> Click the top and bottom points and go sideways. You want to be along that red line. Um, you decide what kind of profile you want this to look. I'm going out fairly far to give it a little bit more of a rounded look. And then the next thing I want to do is make a, a, you can either make a second arc in here, and that works pretty well and just kind of get it out to where you'd like it to be. And that, you just eyeball it, it's not a big deal. Or you could use the offset tool and whatnot. This is probably the quickest. I'll erase this middle line from here. And then the next thing I'm going to do is prepare my follow me tool. So I go to choose this menu. It usually says push pull. Choose follow me. It's prepared. Now I'm going to use the select tool. Choose the path. Click follow me choose the surface, and I've got, it's kind of a pumpkin, it's not perfect, but it's not bad. All right, and I know since I went straight up that this surface is actually the same as the top, so I'm going to copy and paste it. So I selected it, and then I just copy and paste, and to make a lid, all I need to do then is push pull this. Um, here's an advanced skill, pushing the control key once, we'll add a little plus sign to the top of your, or addition sign to the top of your cursor. That means when I click this, it will make a, a face on the bottom as well as the top, so it makes kind of a new face at the bottom. So I'll click and go up, I don't know how many centimeters, maybe about three or four, let's say three. This will be quite a bit thicker than the edge here, but it'll give us an opportunity to taper it, which is what I'm going to do right now. So this is just a square looking piece. Uh, I need to actually take this bottom, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it, choose it, and I'm going to select it, uh, and then I'm going to scale it. And I want to scale it to about the center, not to go side to side. It kind of makes it skewed off to one side, and I don't want that, so I'm going to undo that. When I choose this edge, I'm going to hold down the control key, click on the corner, and then I can drag it in. And probably want to see about a 0.95 or... 9.4 in the bottom there, something like that. You see the bottom right-hand corner? So I'm going to say 0.95 and click again. And now you'll see a, a tapered edge. And this should allow the top to drop in nicely into this section here. And so from here, um, a couple of things we would do with some advanced skills. Uh, first, this bottom has no thickness. You can see because I click on here, it's dotted, and I roll underneath, it's still dotted. So what I want to do is just press control, um, do push pull, press control once again. That will leave the surface behind and create a new one and then just go up to this edge, touch the edge. And now I've added some thickness to the bottom and I've left the surface behind, which is really helpful. Um, notice this is white and these are the, the, in, the gray or bluish kind of color. If you right click on the, a white surface and choose orient faces, it'll turn it all nice and white for you, anything that's on the same sort of side of the object. So that can be quite helpful. 
All right, next, I will take this surface here and uh, I'm going to add a little. Um, and most pumpkins have some sort of a. What would you call it? A stem? I don't know. I like that in there. So I'll add a little circle. I'll push pull this upwards. And then what I can do is I can scale this down. And I can even move this off to the side if I want. And it's not exactly perfect. It's not curved like you might see on a pumpkin. To do that, what you would do then is. If you want it to be a little bit curved, you might take the arc. Uh, you create a line first, go straight up. Create your arc tool. Click top and bottom. Make the arc the way you'd like it to, to look. Uh, actually, I might go like this instead. I'm just thinking out loud right now. Straight up to how high I'd like it to go, and then go straight over a little bit. So it ends up there, maybe. And I can choose my arc tool, go along the line, something like that. I can erase the pieces I don't want. And then what I can do is choose, again, with the follow me tool, set it up, choose the path, and then choose the surf, choose follow me tool, hit the surface, and raised up a little bit on the one side there. I'm not happy with that. And scale this end down. Hold down control. Oh, it's just doing the end though. And I'm not happy with that. Alright, so you can see where we're going with this. It might be best just to push pull this upwards, however high you'd like it. Scale this. And then you can just move it over to the side a little bit. Get yourself some sort of looking object. Now, this is a basic pumpkin. Uh, I hope that was something that would be helpful for you. Um, I think that's all we need to do with this one. So if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email if you're in my class. All right.